Hey, a pleasant good Easter morning, everybody. Happy Easter to those who celebrate. This could be a quick video on the Utah Jazz taking down the Dallas Mavericks in Game 1 as the lesser seed gets off to a good start because the Mavs did not have Luka Doncic. However, the Mavs did stay in this game due to their other star in Jalen Brunson really stepping up and playing on guard like being able to also get points obviously on step backs and such but also being a guy at his size that's able to make nice moves down low and get buckets like that as well and he did a great job at both 24 7 and 5 and then Reggie Bullock did okay offensively but struggled mightily defensively and was actually kind of garbage defensively Dinwiddie was their second best player uh, for Dallas in this game hands down where for the Utah Jazz Bogdanovich and Mitchell carried them. Conley did solid. Jordan Clarkson did solid. And then Rudy Gobert really just had rebounds and blocks, which is what you expect from a guy that's a, more of a defense-first guyer. So everybody fell into place for the Jazz. They all had a great game. But Bogdanovich primarily because Bullock played horrendous defense on Bogdanovich. He was the X factor because if you just had Donovan Mitchell score 32-13, from Conley then, and then Jordan Clarkson's tend to go with it, they should have still been able to win that game, they being the Dallas Mavericks, even without Luka Doncic. <clears throat> but, because Bogdan Bogdanovich got 26, 5, 4, and 1, well, that can't really happen, and then you get 17 and 3 damn blocks from Gobert, only 5 points to go in 35 minutes, but you don't expect them to get that many buckets, especially when others are contributing as they did in this game for the Jazz. This was just a beautiful first game for the Jazz, a bad first game um, for Dallas as a whole because it had to rely too much on just two people when it came to Din or Din yeah, Dinwiddie and Jalen Brunson. Finney Smith had a solid game, and then Bullock uh, did good offensively and also rebound-wise, but really struggled mightily defensively and is a big reason they actually lost. So you can't definitely give him a start of the game even though he had 15 points. Brunson's definitely a star of the game. Dinwiddie's a star of the game in losing efforts. But the biggest star of the game, I think, is Bogdanovich just because of how much he took advantage of not having Luka Doncic in the game to be a bigger size guy. It's not like Doncic's a wizard on defense, but his size definitely would have been able to um, hamper Bogdanovich more than Reggie Bullock, who kind of was on his back half of the time and made it easy for Bogdanovich. But this has been a quick video on the Utah Jazz taking care of business every day. Well, every day was yesterday as they took care of business in Game 1 against the Dallas Mavericks. The Luka Doncic list Dallas Mavericks, where if he comes back, I do think the Mavs are going to win this one in six. That's still my prediction for the series. But hell of a first game by Bogdanovich and Mitchell, who were the stars for the Jazz, with Rudy Gobert doing his thing defensively and rebounding-wise. And then you still had for the Dallas Mavericks, the stars of the game in the losing effort, Dinwiddie, and then obviously Jalen Brunson was their number one star. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please and subscribe down below. Or above the Easy Wizard to keep scrolling to 2.30 or more by the end of April to meet our goal. Stay safe with everybody, and happy Easter.